Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I have another fun Valentine's tutorial. This one is actually going to my bestie. Uh, can you guess that from what it says on the front? Now I've actually, I'm going to be making the third one with you. So I have another one here, but I need to buy three more of the strawberries and cream Lindor chocolates. I'll show you those in a moment. It's very cute. It's kind of evolved from the caddy, the milk carton caddy that I shared maybe last week, week before. I'll link that one up here because it's big nice size milk cartons and there's six of them in a similar kind of caddy and that you know I'm filling that with gifts as well because that's part of the Valentine series but these are dinky ones and inside is one Lindor little chocolate truffle. Now the reason I've done them like this is I was in my head thinking I'm going to put acetate in there. Now I haven't put acetate but the sweets can't fall out because of the plastic and everything on them. But I wanted to show you this way because I think they're going to look adorable as tree ornaments at Christmas time. So if you imagine these in maybe like a candy cane kind of pattern, you I think as well they will fit a Ferrero Rocher. They just fasten with a little bit of ribbon there and then obviously you've got the little hang tab there. I think it's just adorable. Like I said that's the other version there and then I'm going to make the third one with you now. So let me show you how. So this is the chocolates here, but I need to buy, I've got them I've got them all filled in that one and then the one I showed you, but I need three more for that one there. But the ones that I have left over again, I'm going to use for another gift. So it's all going to get used for gifts. But this was, I think, 4 99 I picked it up for. So I'm getting three gifts. Plus I know I'm going to buy some more, but that's all getting used. So it's pretty cheap, I think. And it's they're lovely, they're delicious. I did eat one of them. So I've already done five of them there. And I've got the next chocolate for the last one. And then I've got bits and pieces here that I've used. So first of all, we will talk about, actually, we need that one. We'll do the box. So depending on how many you want to do, you might just want to make a little box like this. You might just want to put a little sweet in there. Again, you could put some jewelry in there. It would fit some earrings wrapped in some tissue. You know, all kinds of little dinky things. So anyway, I, you will need, if you want to do the same as me, you'll need six pieces that are four and a quarter by six and a half. Along the six and a half side you want to score at one and a half, three, four and a half and six. Okay and then pop it on its short side so along the four and a quarter you're going to score at one and a half, three and three and three quarters. Okay then for the tray or the base of the caddy this is a piece of seven and three quarters by six and one eighth okay and you just want to score at one and a half inches on all four sides and then this is for the handle again optional you might just want to keep the tray piece this is four by eleven along the eleven inch side you're going to score at one inch five and a half and ten inches okay so that's all the scoring done next you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines Okay, so first of all we'll start with the box. So you want that half inch tab on the right hand side and you're going to cut up all of these score lines along the bottom up to the first score line, like so. When you get to this one here, you're going to remove this rectangle completely, like so. And then work along the tab. You'll have two other score lines here, so this one and this one. You're then going to remove those two, so you didn't really need to cut down that one, but sometimes it's easier if I break it all down like that. So I'm going to cut that and take that away, so you're just left with that tab. And then I'm just going to cut a little wedge on the end. And then you're going to work along this side now, and you're going to cut down all the score lines, but you're going to go past the first half inch down to the second. So past the first score line down to the second score line. Then you've got your tab on this side. This side here, this one, you just want to remove the top rectangle and then miss one and then do the second one and again remove that. This one, the tab again on the right, this second one from the bottom will be the front of the box so then you can just take wedges off of the other three and this one that we don't cut, this one here, will be the last one we stick down which means that it will cover the base nicely and you won't have anything overhanging, you just get a much nicer finish. Okay, so you can see how that one's still square but these have all been cut into. So do that on the six pieces. Next you want to punch some holes in here. So I'm just using the cropper dial but you can use any punch. I'll just show you where I punch these. So if you do one first of all, 
and then you can use that as a guide. Can you see there? You're just popping out. In fact, I've gone a little bit crooked on that, but once you've got, you can see, once you've got all the ribbon on and everything, you don't notice any of that. And then what you do is measure that one because you can't fold it over because you've got this one in the way, but you can kind of measure it and then just do the same on that one. But again, I'm just, I've eyeballed all of it. You know, don't give yourself more work like so. Okay, they're going to line up. It's only a thin piece of ribbon. That was lucky. I just started sticking it all down, putting glue on there, and realised I didn't cut the hole. So now you want to die cut if you do want to do this. So that is going to stick around the back. So this one here, where you've not cut into that square, that's where you're going to die cut your little aperture. Like I say, if you do want to put maybe a smaller loose sweet in there or you know it could be some beads maybe you're filling it with craft supplies for a crafty friend and you will want to add the acetate or even some vellum it will look nice as well so I'm just going to pop that in the middle of that square pop some tape there and I'm just going to run that through my dye machine okay so that's cut out straight away and then to get the little frame use that same original die and then I found this next one up and I just cut them I actually cut the bigger one first and then I just cut into that one but then it gave me this tiny little ring here. Now we can add the glue on that tab, fold it over, that's where I went to stick it down before, fold that over the top and everything will line up. And then I've got the hole facing up, I'm going to fold these all out. This square one remembers the last one we stick down so I'm going to stick the base, the back one down first, I'm just going to pop some glue on there, fold over one of the sides and then fold over the other side and then lastly the front one and you can just go in there just really push all that down okay and then I've got my little sweep pop that in fold the sides down and then just fold those away from you and then I've got a little bit of ribbon and then before I stick that down I've got this piece here which was three by a quarter of an inch I'm just going to put a little curve in it and this is for the little handle. Just put a little bit of glue and just stuck that together. And a little bit of glue on top. And I'm just going to stick that behind the front one in the middle. So just in between your two punched holes. And then I'm just going to tie my ribbon. So, and you could also pop a Velcro dot here if you don't want to do the ribbon and the holes and things like that. Then, you know, make it easy for yourself. But now I've got a really cute little box. So I've got all six of mine ready. And now we can finish with the tray and the decoration. So with this one here, along the long side, I'm just going to cut up the two score lines to the first score line. So that one and that one. And then flip it so you're working on the opposite side and just repeat. And again, just take a little wedge off of each side of those tabs as well. And then I'm going to use my stronger glue and I'm just going to pop some glue on the tab and then bring it down and bring the side around to form one of the corners there. Make sure this side goes right up to there, don't go over because you're going to start making the inside of this smaller. So just make sure you just get it nice and lined up there. And just do that on all of the corners. Okay, so that's our tray already. And then you can pop those all in. So those three, and those are going to face that way. But if, you, if you've not done the handle, you know, you might want to just do a thin handle that goes around, or maybe you have some ribbon. But now you have that little tray of boxes. Next with this piece, what's going to happen is we're going to fold this over and we're going to stick those two together and then these are going to fold out like so and we're going to add glue to that and then stick that into the base of that tray. But before I do that I want to add the handle you can see there. You might not want to do that but I'm not going to glue it shut, I'm just going to die cut it whilst it's folded in half. So I've got these two here, I'll give you the size of these ones, it's two and one eighth by just over one and a half, so two by one and a half, sorry, one and a quarter, two by one and a quarter, that's going to go here, so I'm just going to grab a bit of tape, 
and I'll probably have to put my metal shim just run it through a couple of times just to at least get an, an impression on the other side because this is 300 GSM cardstock which is about £110 some people ask me what the conversion is it's about £110 so I'm just going to bring this in I'm just going to run this through a few times I'll cut two of the frames so again the same way that I made the frames for the circle you cut the original size with the next size up Hold them together with a bit of washi tape so you get a nice even frame like so and you'll have these two and they are going to go around there so, so now I'm going to stick this together so I'm just going to add my glue hold that in half and then whilst that's drying I'm going to stick these frames down Okay, so that's all stuck down. Now, to ensure that we get this stuck in the center of this tray, I cut it to this size because I wanted it to be, a, I want you to be able to make this with your A4, because not everybody has 12 by 12, so that's why. But what you want to do is take one half out, and then I'm going to add my glue. So, and then I'm just going to kind of well, hold those as well. Roughly get it the way you think it's going to go. Pop this in, and then, push it against them and just make sure you've got an equal amount you can probably go that way a little bit like so and then whilst that's doing that just kind of push down the glue but add them in as well and you'll see just to be you know 100% sure that everything's where it needs to be how cute is that I love it probably shouldn't hold it straight away because that glue's still drying but now you can take them all out and you can just go in there make sure it doesn't shift but you can just really make sure that that glue's all stuck down okay then I've got my bestie letters. I've also got my sprigs and I need to grab another white paper flower. And I'm also going to decorate the sides. Now the alphabet letters are my chunky alphabet set, which I've used on quite a few projects. So that's them there. That was the circles they were. They were from the works and the rectangles, I think. Like I said, I believe they were. And I'm also going to cut the mats here you'll see all of these so you'll want two pieces that are two and seven eighths of an inch by one and a quarter and then two that are four and a half by one and a quarter so i'm going to get those cut get them stuck down get my flower and all of that stuck down and we're done okay so there's the finished little gift i think it's adorable absolutely love this i will definitely be making it this again for christmas because i think it would look really nice like i said with ferrero rochers in it and just mix it, maybe put one chocolate, a little piece of jewellery, just other little things, you put little love notes in there, I don't know, you, there's so much scope and I love seeing your versions of these when you share them over on our Facebook group, so I can't wait to see you know, the different ways that you decorate and um, decide what gifts you're going to put in it and stuff, so there they are, so that's my three, so I've just got to buy one more box, but the rest of that I'm going to do for another project, so thank you for watching, as always, if you have enjoyed today's tutorial and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell, it really does help me out, and it means you'll get notified every time I upload a new tutorial, and I'll be back again very soon with more fun makes, thanks for watching, bye!